we'd like to um, acknowledge the the country on which we all meet virtually. Um, I'm here on in in Nam in Melbourne on Woiwurrung country, a part of the Kulin Nations. Um, on Gadigal land in Sydney. Uh, we're here at uh, Larrakia country in Darwin. Normally we're from um, South Goulburn Island in Wadawi community. Uh, our language is small. Um, on Wurundjeri country, same as Reuben. We'd also like to acknowledge the, the country and ancestors of, of, of many people that join us at the, um, the conference over in Hawaii and the indigenous people of Hawaii as well in particular. We're talking today about um, a, a 15 year or so collaboration that um, we've all had together sharing research on language and song together. There are a few people who can't join us today who've contributed to our collective work and they are David Manmarulu, senior song holder for Injilarku um, Mermaid Song Set, um, Rupert's brother, Renfred Manmarulu. Anyway, this is our first um, time, you know, um, talking and explaining um, about our culture in, in different parts of the world and, and different um, indigenous places around the world. That's a little photo of Waterloo community, the way, where we live. Where I grew up and been hunting all my life and I went to school. There's about two or three hundred people living at um, South Goulburn Island. And um, like we all mainly Hmong speakers, but there's a handful of Kunmingo, only a few of Kunmalang speakers, and um, plus Iwaja. And we've got the Eastern um, Galpo that we all live at Warawi and the main language that we speak and understand is just um, Mo. But the songs that they um, the songs that they sing so, all reflects on one community. I think few songs that stays at Warawi. You got Injalarku itself. Um, you got Meritbu, Galargugu. Um, you got Arnaru, Arnaru and Miljariyara. And Maroka. Yeah, Maroka, yeah. Like oh. Owen song, yeah. Mm. Arnaru, they sing in language, I think in Manangari yeah. and Manangari. We're of Marku, you know. So uh, Miljariyara, it's got a language song as well. I think it's Marku and Ilka, the other one, but in Injilarku, it's like, I don't know, <laughs> there's no language that relates to that, you know, it's as I was, as I always been saying, you know, like, we learn from our dreams, you know, mm. I met, I met for us and the shower said it dance. Mm. Like a special language just for yeah. song. Yeah, yeah. 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 special language for the special song. Mm. Yep. The first picture there about my wow, that's my granddad. That's my father's uh, father. Uh, the one he playing the didgeridoo in Mong, we call it Arawid. He played with uh, Adelaide Quintex. Eh? Yeah. Yep. You've got the ladies there dancing, the Hegelarku song as well. That's uh, in Melbourne, yeah, two years ago. And that's the photo of me and my little brother. I'm playing the didgeridoo and I play the ditch and sing and dance as well. And we've got Rubin there and a few other boys from Mounjum in Derby in Western Australia. That's the marmor, we call it a marmor. That's the painting uh, picture there of one of my cousin brothers dancing. We had a hair, we had to cut, my dad had to cut a Rubin's hair. When they see this, so hear the song and watch watch them uh, dance, and then they start thinking of doing something like give them 
maybe a, a child's hair or whatever the little child finds, a shell or maybe That's belly a button. coin or belly button. Or we call it Mogi. They, um, they give it to the songman and then he keep it for maybe two or three years because he has to sit and prepare and men and women get together and start preparing the songs and the body painting. That's all about mammals. The ladies, um, that's in 2019, we went for the Mojo Festival and the ladies have joined in dancing in Yalarku, doing different um, style of the Indialarko um, songs and dance. So today we're going to talk about some of the different um, ways in which um, uh, Jenny, Rupert and the Mamarula family have been sharing their language and song, um, not only with us as researchers, but also with other communities and, and families. It's really important that um, we do go and perform in di different places apart from not only Mawindu, but we do travel to Proka, um, Aung Kelly, and other places, including Melbourne. We come and perform there too. And they just watch once when I start dancing and they volunteered, not only volunteered, but they said to themselves, oh, we'll just try and dance with Jenny when we was down at Mawindu. So they started to join in and start watching me how to dance because Injilago got the got different songs with different style. Um, style of dancing. say for me and my two brothers we we've been singing in the largo through our childhood you know before we now we had also <laughs> and then lately we started singing our um other grandfather's song Anaro, from jenny that's her great great grandfather's song so yeah, we've been singing two songs, Angelarco and Anaro. And like for me, um, I used to watch my mom and her sisters, including my grandmother. They used to get up and dance um, when my poison cousin used to sing or my uncle sing Anaro. And I used to dance with them when I was just growing up. But when I grew older, like you I forgot, forgot all about it. I forgot all about it, but I knew the song very well, but I forgot the um, dancing style or that dancing technique. And so, so our ladies showed how to dance. Um, our Rosemary our and Nita. Rosemary and Nita. Like we told them, you have to teach us and then we'll carry on teaching the other girls. And they'll pass it on to the next generation. Anybody who knows, get up and will follow. It doesn't matter if we make mistakes, that's part of our learning. In the same way that you might keep languages alive too at Mudbulk, where yeah. somebody, each person has a little bit of knowledge of, of say, Maung or Gunbarlang or yeah. Gunmingu, and you can be receptive to it and you can hear it. Um, and you can also 
you know, some people can also have, have knowledge to speak it in the same way with the dancing, like you're just explaining that, that Rosemary and Nita had that knowledge of that dance. And yeah. so it, it's sort of like everybody's combined efforts help to keep it going, you know? Yeah. Mm. It has. And it's always been like that. Mm. And it's continuing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just go one way, just play the first bit all the way. Sometimes we break it down, we join it with the knee, you know? And before, we used to say, I don't want Punbara. Nowadays, <laughs> they would just say remix. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to explain that Nigi song as well? Yeah. Like what that means? So there's two different versions of it. Mm -hmm. One from old George, my granddad, and then no, the no. other one from my dad. Like Nigi, like they call it, like the mother song or that yeah, final yeah. song. Yeah. Oh, like a goodbye, farewell. Farewell. So yeah. my oh. dad sang that song when um, our, my grandfather was in the, <coughs> in the coffin, you know. So he sang that song for him. So it was like... Farewell, you know, goodbye. So, like, say so he left us, but the songs is always in us, you know. He sang for him before he passed away. So, when the, um, when we were ready to take our George to the funeral ground, David just started singing. And then he showed us, he showed me later how the ladies, um, the dancing style for the ladies. That's when I'm start uh, learning slowly on the Yellow. He, he was a really good teacher how um, any new songs in the Yellow or the old ones, you know, he, when he starts singing, when he sang, he used to turn around and watch, and then he used to instruct me, no, Yeni, you do it this way. So I followed. <laughs> yeah. It's like a ballet dancer, you know, when people don't, or, or a rap dancer. No, you made a mistake, you will you do it again, you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so the, the Manyadi, it's the same, you know. If we make mistakes, we continue till we um, do it properly. Mm, and get it right. This was a, a special um, verb in Maung, Gang Marangolin, which um, when we were working on the dictionary, people gave a lot of different meanings for it to do with bringing back memories and, and feelings. And sometimes um, what brings back the memories is um, listening to a song. Way, Gang Marangolin, no you. It's more about um, a person who starts singing, and the per uh, and then the people say, oh, "It reminds us back when he starts singing. Now he's continuing singing. Um, it brings me memory that when I went away." And now I came back home and I'm start, starting to listen to the same song. It breaks my heart. Um, 
when I start dancing on different songs in Injalarko, and it brings memory back to me, I think about my sister-in-law, um, all Agnes Mirwayan, um, because she, she teach me a lot. And when my memory comes back, I just close my eyes and see her vision in my dream. And I do the dancing. That's why people say, oh, you've got really lovely techniques, you know, because she just come back to my um, memory. And then I start following her way, how she, she's been dancing. So that's what Gangmarangulin means. So gang, Gangmarangulin is something that the performer can feel too when yeah. you're performing. Yes, yes. I want to go back to all the time. I want to go back to all the time. I want to go back to all the time. I want to go back to all the time. I want to go back to all the time. I want to go back to all the time. Memory comes back of thinking of way back where our ancestors used to come back, sit at Warui and um, sharing things like Wali and knowledge and songs like a few family think about that like the gang you know i branch off with many different ways of saying it you know through song line through country line through rain through wind <laughs> dancing in a nightclub <laughs> <laughs> yeah any songs from Manyadi all the way to songs at a nightclub can make you think. Yes, yes, it doesn't matter, no matter where. As um, our collaborative research has pro progressed over the years and um, we've been working with the Munruli family and Jenny and Rupert to, to document all these wonderful um, examples in language and, and in song, We've also had the opportunity to um, be invited to dance ourselves. Um, this is, you know, Ruth and um, Isabel and, and I, and we've really felt an obligation to, to do that too, because um, we know that it's important to um, pass on this knowledge and share it with others. And this is one of the ideas that, um, that Rupert explained to me one time um, when we were um, dancing so I always, you know, keep elbowing my two brothers to say like, see, you know, to get the true humanity from inside in us, let it out where you make people start singing out for you, clapping, you know, and then they'll be start, we start feeling good about ourselves, you know. And then that's when the boys that get up and they dance, you know. And then from one person to get up and dance, and then you got two, and then three, and then many more. Then, and then that's when you know how I sing the Yalarka from the fast to the slow one, the remix. That's when everybody all join in, you know. Men from little boys to teenagers, to big men, to little girls, to ladies, to all ladies. They all come forward when we have um, funeral, you know, and then they dance and walk towards to the, say, where the body is laying down, you know, in a bullshit. And then for the singers, you know, that makes us feel proud, you know, we feel happy, you know. Mm. And you've used that same principle even like when you've been traveling to whether it's been Monjum or Melbourne or even and to Thailand. Stay for Thailand, you know, we had Pete and Lloydie and Robin Dancy, and then we started to, you know, um, ask the audience to like for volunteer to come and dance, you know, and then fear the blows came, came rushing in, you know, came down and started dancing, you know, and then it, it made us. I don't know, it was just over the moon, me and Renfrew. <laughs> yeah.
so yeah, we we're still supporting the young boys for this Umarbar um, role. They are starting to um, join in in this in Yalago, um event where we have have it in the field or sometimes when we just sit home we just put it out song on the mouth by Bluetooth into the speaker and you just sit and listen <clears throat> and then they say to themselves, oh, we'll try and blow the degree. They started to push themselves to do these things. The two grand the two grandsons. Maybe next time we'll see you when it's COVID night when the borders are open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo. 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 Bobo.